Understanding prenuptial party, an English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into a very interesting and festive phrase, prenuptial party. This term is not just about vocabulary, it's also a window into cultural practices. So, whether you're an English learner or just curious about different cultural terms, this video is for you. Let's get started. Prenuptial party might sound a bit complex, but let's break it down. The word prenuptial is an adjective that comes from two parts, pre meaning before and nuptial relating to marriage or weddings. So prenuptial essentially means something that happens before a wedding. The word party is more familiar, referring to a social gathering or celebration. Put together, a prenuptial party is a celebration held before a wedding. Prenuptial parties can vary greatly depending on cultural and personal preferences. In many Western cultures, for example, you might hear about a bachelor party or a bachelorette party. These are types of prenuptial parties. The bachelor party is typically for the groom-to-be and his friends, while the bachelorette party is for the bride-to-be and her friends. These parties are meant to celebrate the last days of single life. While the concept of a prenuptial party is widespread, the form it takes can be very different across cultures. In some cultures, there might be more emphasis on family involvement, with traditional ceremonies or rituals. In others, it's more about friends and having fun. The key takeaway is that a prenuptial party is a significant event that marks the transition from single life to married life. And it's often filled with joy, celebration, and sometimes a bit of nostalgia for the life being left behind. And that's a wrap on prenuptial party. We hope this video has not only taught you a new phrase but also given you a glimpse into the cultural practices that surround marriage in different societies. Remember, language learning is not just about words, it's also about understanding the culture and context behind them. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.